try to do is click on that blue circle on the left hand side. Okay. Do you still see yours? Um, it's working, it's loading. Oh, okay. Loading, loading, loading. I didn't have anyone here to powder my face or anything. <laughs> um, it's still loading. Okay. Uh, let's click it again. Hmm. Not showing up. Should I hit? You may need to log off the Hangout and log back on again, and maybe that will work. All right, I'm gonna hang up. I think. Okay. I wonder if maybe I used Chrome yesterday. And s no, I don't think I did. That could be that could be it. Most of the time, I use Chrome, but um, if it doesn't work this time, then maybe switch over to Chrome. Is it opening? No. And then I'm supposed to be signed in and signed in as you, Ryan. You, mm -hmm. you guys, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the reason why we just have you sign in as us is because we have the apps loaded, and so normally it would load immediately, but it looks like there's some kind of glitch going on. Bummer. Uh, yesterday. You need permission to start, I think. Oh, push yes. Maybe that's why. Oh, yes, there might be something in the background um, that. asking. Yeah, I, I think it's doing something now. It's doing something. It's not here yet, but we're in the right direction. Now, are there two blue circles on your screen? Or one? There are two right now, actually. Another one came up. And is it still saying loading? One says loading. The other one is just a, a, a white thing. It doesn't say anything. Mm. Hi. Hello. So I wanted to, to, to know, when I'm talking in this first half, mm -hmm. I actually just got off the phone with somebody, um, an optometrist in Arizona. Okay. And we actually had a conversation of the importance of reviews and, uh, and all that stuff. And you think it would be appropriate if I say, oh, I talked to a lot of doctors about this? Um, yeah, that would be appropriate. Yeah, I mean, reviews, I mean, in the medical industry, reviews are becoming, I mean, very important for doctors. And um, I know for sure, I, I learned this from a doctor, a LASIK surgeon, a group. There's nine LASIK surgeons in this group in um, Chicago. And they said that, some of their fellow um, surgeons that are in the city um, 
the insurance changed because they had bad reviews online and so they weren't able to be in that top tier insurance um, provider and so they weren't able to see as many patients. So yeah, reviews are definitely very important for the business side of your practice but also you know, so more patients read them and see them and um, so yeah, it's definitely appropriate to say whatever you'd like to share in that section about reviews or you know, where to send them to go. Um, I would try to stay more positive when talking about the reviews versus um, saying things like, oh, watch out, some of them aren't true, or, you know, just keep it more, like, positive through the whole interview because you don't want to throw anything in the person's mind of negativity. So just keep it more positive, even if you have a different opinion about reviews or your experience of like that. But, yeah, definitely share about what you guys talked about in your conversation um, from this morning. Is that showing up yet? Um, it's not, so I'm opening it in, in the other browser. Okay, great. And then um, I noticed when you clicked on the application last time, it opened up a new app on my end, and it says testing after it. Try it next time when you log into the Chrome browser, then um, try clicking on the one that says on-air meetings hangout webinar, because that might like do showing up. I don't know why... Um, so that might be... The other one's not in there anymore. The testing is the only yes, one there. Oh, the testing's the only one that's there? So I'm going to hang up and go to the other one. Okay. You want to try to put it there? Or... Well, did it show up now? No. I can just wait I'm until... Um... I'm going to hang up and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, I think it says the right one now. I don't hear you. All right. Hello? I can't hear you. Oh, okay, there now you can hear me. Right? Um, yeah. So I don't have any presets lo loaded. Um, it's not loaded? No. Okay, it looks like you might have maybe created on the other one, that testing one that showed up. So you'll just type it in again. Um, and then I'm pulling up. Get your phone number. I'm going to call it Find the Best Optometrist. Yes. Or find, what did, wait, what do we say? Find, what does it say on my screen? I can't see behind there. Well, I think we did find a great, great optometrist. A great optometrist. That way it matches on what's on my screen, too. Oh, it needs to match yours, too. Okay. I have to get a new logo. Hold on. Um, so I, I'd like to learn from your husband or from the owner uh, more about what you guys do. Um, okay. Um, we can do that after um, today. We can schedule a time. Um, we do a strategy session. So with a strategy session, we'll take you know, within about 24 hours for our team to do research on your practice. And then from there, we educate on a problem solution format, give you strategies for each section that we find problems with. And so through that, you'll, you know, learn about, you know, what to do in each of the areas and just get educated on, you know, the research that's out there and what to be watching out when it comes to reviews and reputation marketing. So we can get that scheduled after, after this. Filming. 
So and then, and then more than my practice, I like to understand. Uh, yes. Everybody. Yeah, I mean, we can definitely talk about. Um, I mean, with with this, I mean, reputation. It can. It definitely affects. All types of businesses. Anyone that has a local business and reputation also affects, you know, businesses that are online. That you know, maybe there isn't a physical location where the a customer is going there. You know, they're purchasing products online, stuff like that. So definitely, the strategies can be applied to both areas. And then, um, yeah. So we'll we'll definitely get that set up after. But right now, let's stay focused on the interview. So I want to make this great and make. It looked great. So, did you get it all typed in or find that logo? Um, it should be in there. Is it there? Oh, um, click on the green plus, the green circle with the plus. Oh, there we go. Now it's up. And I had one more question about what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. um, the expertise and experience versus quality. Mm -hmm. um, What's what's the the difference between those? So um, for expertise or experience, that would be more of you know the doctor's experience. What do they focus on? Do they go to school? Do they go to um, additional schooling? You know stuff like that. If you think that's important to do those different areas, when it comes to quality of service, that would be more of talking about the practice. You know the unique characteristics of the practice and what you want to look for. So, um, for example, like I I met with I met with someone last week, and one of their unique characteristics is they will spend an hour or longer the doctor will spend with the patient. That's what they like to do. And I'm like, that would not work for me. I want to get in. I want to get out. I have lots to do. So that's just something that he's proud of. He's like, I spend an hour or longer if that's what it needs with my patients. And that's his unique like quality of service that he provides. You know, that's not maybe necessarily something that everyone wants, but that's what he provides. So if there's something like that um, or, or just, you know, it's family run and family operated. You know, been around for 30 years and you know, you're involved in the community or you know whatever you'd like to say around that. Um, that they, okay. I mean, it could be you create fun. I met with someone that focuses on children's eye health. That's really that you really focus on children. He's he's all about creating it fun for the child so that the child is asking their parents, hey, can I go get my eyes checked? So that's his goal when his little patients come in and he wants them to beg their moms to come back to the to get their eyes checked. <laughs> so everyone's a little different. So I got it. When I saw you pop up my website, um, the oh, one you drill should just be optics eye care. It doesn't need the hyphen. The, the hyphen one is a VSP website, which is ours too, but that's not our main one. Just oh. pop up. Oh, okay. Let me. That's what popped up when I Googled it. So it goes. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, this From is the long. You have to have that other one too. Okay, I see. Okay. Good catch. Yeah, because it is two different two different websites. Um, yeah. One of them is hosted by VSP. Okay. Okay, there we go. What about that now? Okay. Oh, I think I. Um... Is the phone number different on the different websites? Oh, it is a little different. Five one six. Um, it's okay. So the one you have there is good. Nine three one six three three. Okay. okay, so this five one six, that's a call tracking number. Yeah. Okay. They're like, who is this person in San Diego checking us out? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> oh, somebody's looking. No, that's why I get a different number. That's what that happens so many times when I go pull up the phone number. 
Um, I filmed, man, I try to double ch remember to double check because there's been many times where I pulled the call tracking number versus their main line, and I'm like, oops, because I'm in California. It's a different phone number. Okay, so excellent. Um, so you got the order of questions. You feel prepared? I'm ready. Okay, great. You write down optics, eye care center. Family, optics, family, eye care. Oh, wait. Wait, did I put it in wrong? Let's see, what did, what did you say? Optics. Optics, family, eye care. Oh, man, I have optics, eye care center. It's okay. I'm going to have to restart this. Uh, well, I keyword targeted this video. Um, so it's okay. It's okay? Fine. Okay, well, hopefully it keyword ranks appropriately. Um, I'll put, I'll add the other one in there as well. So okay. optics, family eye care. Right. Okay. And Kestenbaum, Kestenbaum, <laughs> the practice. Okay, so we're, we're all good to go. Um, oh, I have to turn on my light. And get my screen up a little higher. I have my Kleenex box that I put my computer on <laughs> to get to the right height. <laughs> oh, okay. We are already broadcasting, so I don't have to do that. Well, I'll just start. So I'm just going to go back and forth between us. Hi, I'm Liz Cortez with Business Trends TV, and today I'm joined by Evan Kestenbaum from Optics Family Eye Care. Hi, Evan. Hi, Liz. How's it going today? Great. Thank you so much for being on our interview today. So um, just so that you know a little bit more about Evan, he um, is an optician, and he helped um, his dad really expand his eye care practice. Um, they've been in practice for 30 years, and they've gone from having one eye doctor to now three, correct? What else have you done for the practice? Lots, lots of things. So you have an MBA, and you're just really great with business and in the eye care world. So our goal is our goal is to make sure when the patient walks through the door, everyone is treated a little like a family. Oh, excellent. So, so family is a big, big focus for um, a family I care, right? So I know that you're watching this video right now because you want to know, how do you find a great optometrist? And so, Evan, I'd like for you to share um, with the person that's watching this video right now, how, how do you do that? There's so many to choose from when they go on Google or they look on their smartphone. So what, what is your advice? Well, the, the first thing you wanted to do is Find, about, find out about other people's experiences. So there are two main places to look. One is directly on Google. So if you search optometrist or search eye doctor in, in your city, um, a lot of doctors will come up and t t take a look at um, who has five-star reviews and how many reviews do they have. If they have zero or, or one, um, that may not be the best choice, uh, but if they have five or ten or more re re reviews, you know enough people that went on there and felt compelled to, to share their experience. The other site um, uh, you, you should go on is Yelp. Search for a doctor if you already have a doctor's name from a family or friend look online for them too. Um, and again, look at the reviews and see what the other patients' experiences were. That's great. Thank you for sharing that with us about looking at their reputation, looking at Google, looking at Yelp, reading about what other patients' experience was. That way 
you can uh, make sure you're choosing the right optometrist for you and for your family. So um, when it comes to you know experience, what advice would you give? Like, are there different um, schooling, extra certifications, or extra licenses, or anything? Any advice you'd give to the person who's watching this video right now? Sure. So in New York, it's important everyone has a New York State license, and there are some doctors who focus just on doing an eye care refraction, just on finding what your eyeglass prescription is. But it's really important, just like you go to the internist every year, or if you're not, you should, you should be seeing your optometrist every year also. Um, the, the doctor should be qualified and certified to take care of all your, your eye health needs and write a prescription for medication if needed. Um, many eye doctors can also find high blood pressure or, or other problems you may have that you can find through the eyes, even if they're not directly related to the eyes. So it's important you, you find an optometrist that's not only looking at your eyeglass prescription, but looks at all those other areas as well. Oh, that's excellent. So, um, what what advice would you give to the person watching this video that you know is looking at a couple different optometrists? And when it comes to like quality of service or just you know the staff or the doctor, what what do you think is the most important characteristic or quality that um, you know a really really great optometrist practice would have? Right. So you want to find someone or you, you want to find a practice who, who could take care of your whole suite of needs um, from if you got something in your eye, if you have allergies in your eye, to helping you find the right pair of eyeglasses so you could look good and feel good to fitting you with the most comfortable contact lens. So you, 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 you want to find a place who could provide all the services for you uh, uh, to make sure that they could take care of your needs. Okay, great. So find a practice that will take care of all of your needs, no matter if it's dry eyes or any contacts or you want glasses, whatever it may be, you want to choose something that has all those different options. So great. So I know that um, you you provide a great experience when you know patients come over to Optics Family Eye Care. So Evan, why don't you just kind of paint that picture of the experience one would have coming to um, see one of your doc eye doctors over there. Sure. The, the goal at the goal at I at Optics is we are a center of excellence. So when your family comes in, um, we want you to have a great experience. So it starts off that even before you get to the office, we know your time is so valuable. So we want to help you um, fill out all the forms online, submit them online. We want to make sure when we schedule your appointment, we're running on time. So if you come in during your lunch hour, which we know is very valuable, or first thing in the morning, or even on a late night, um, we want to respect your time. So we do whatever we, we can to, to make your experience go smooth. The other thing, when you come to our office, we keep uh, hundreds of contact lenses in stock. So if you need contacts, you can take them home with you the same day. We also have thousands of eyeglass frames to choose from. So when you come in, our goal is to take care of all your needs, respect your time, and make sure you have a great experience. I like that. Come in, it's quick, and to get everything that you need. You don't have to wait weeks or months to get those frames or get fitted for the right type of contacts. You have them there on um, the at the location, so that's excellent. Um, is there anything else you'd like to share about your practice? Uh, well, th th this year is actually our 30th anniversary. My father started the practice 30 years ago, and just last week we saw patient number two. So she's in our computer system number two. She comes here. Her kids come here. Her kids got married, and 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 they have kids now. So it's such a great feeling 
to see multi generations of family coming by at optics, uh, and 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 when they tell us how they love us and, and they come here and they wouldn't go anywhere else, it makes our whole team feel so good. Oh, I love it. The whole family, grandparents and children and grandkids, everyone just coming over there. So that that's great to have just multiple generations and then really build up. You know, 30 years, that's a great accomplishment um, for your whole family and then all the other doctors at the practice as well. So um, Evan, my last question for you is I know you have something, you know, special for, you know, people that are watching this video. How do they get in contact with you? Where, where do you want to send them? The best place is, is to hit onto our, our website. Um, we put special offers on there all the time. Our goal is to have trunk shows throughout the year so you could come in and see the, the, the whole line of different frame brands. It has our hours where they're very early in the morning till, till late at night. So feel free to go to our website. You could call us or submit your appointment request directly from the website. Oh, excellent. I put up your website link right here below this video. It's also here on the screen um, with your phone number so you can give them a call or even easier, just go to the website, book your next appointment online. So just click that link right below this video. So thank you so much, Evan, for doing this interview and really educating us on how to find a great optometrist. And um, so I just appreciate your time for taking this time to do this interview and educating the person watching this video right now. So click that link below and get in connection with optics today. Thank you. Thanks, Liz. Perfect. All right. You did it. Great work. Great work. Thank How you. How do you feel? Feel about that? All right. It felt good. Good. Thank goodness, out of the way, interview's done. No, that was great. I really liked it how um, you added in the part about family and the different generations. I, I think that was really important to add that in, so I'm glad you added that in at the end. Um, what we need to do right now is get a quick you know, video testimonial um, from you, just sharing your name, um, your you can share about the practice, and then share um, where you're from, and then what benefits did you receive? So you can talk about, you know, your experience, learn how to use the Google Hangouts, um, about, you know, doing the interview. You haven't seen the final interview, so you don't don't talk about like results, like, oh, we got all these patients. You don't know that yet. You can't say that, but just talk about your experience and being educated on how to do this. And then number four, just share about why you would recommend. Um, us to do this with someone else, like why someone should work with us to do an interview. So I'm going to put myself on mute and then um, make sure that the screen is showing your face. That way it stays, it doesn't show me on there at all. And then you can start whenever you're ready. Okay? Um, what do you mean it doesn't show you? Oh, just because right, right now if it's on my screen and you start talking just straight in, it's like, hi, I'm Evan, then it will show me at the beginning and I won't be able to edit the video. Oh. So it just looks kind of funny if there's another person here. It looks like I'm telling you what to say. <laughs> so I'm going to mute myself. Okay. Hi, I'm Evan Kestenbaum from Optics Family Eye Care in uh, Plainview, New York. Uh, this experience was uh, really good for me. I learned uh, the, the importance of online reviews for patients finding me as well as the importance of, of, of getting a video to build trust, allow uh, potential patients to learn about us and, and, and letting that come up in search engines when patients are, are looking for us. I think it's a great experience. It worked out pretty easily. Uh, they showed me how to sign on to Google Hangouts, which I was aware of YouTube, but not so much about Google Hangouts. Um, uh, so I had a good experience, and the best part is they made it very easy, even if I didn't know that much about the Internet or, 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 or how to use all these tools. They really made step-by-step -step directions to make it easy and fun. Perfect. 
turn off my lights. There we go. Whew, those lights get warm. Thank you for doing that um, testimonial. I appreciate that. And um, so it's going to take you know a couple of days to um, get the video edited and get it all to the final cut. Um, and we're going to do a little bit of keyword optimization in the back end of the video as well. So we'll do do that, and um, I'll get that on over to you. But great job! That was a great interview. That was fun. I love doing interviews. I have another one right after this at ten ten my time, and so got. Another one, different, different industry. Um, I don't, I don't. We're talking about. I don't remember what we're talking about. <laughs> I'll review that right before we get on. <laughs> so I, have I have my list of questions, and <laughs> uh, so I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. um, this afternoon, I'm actually just um, a coincidence, but I'm going over. I'm getting interviewed for some optometric uh, journals. It's like a video. Journal, um, and I was going to talk about websites in, in in general. Is it okay if I talk about Google Hangouts and taking videos? And yes. I'm not allowed to mention anybody's name in the thing, but I can mention the importance, and you should go find someone who could help you with it. Yeah, so definitely. Um, just so you know, with Google Hangouts, we're able. Um, it's different than filming a video on your camera or filming on your iPhone. Um, it used to be pretty, well, it used to be a lot easier to keyword optimize videos that you filmed with your phone or if you filmed on your HD camera and you load them up onto YouTube. So that was big for years, but over the past year, uh, or actually it's two, I think two years ago, Google Hangout, the live Google Hangouts came out. And so since that point, it trumps just any type of optimization. I mean, to sometimes get videos to rank, you have to spend thousands of dollars on SEO a month to get your website to rank or videos to rank and it's just crazy but when you film live through Google Hangouts um, Google ranks it higher so it's really a lot simpler for doctors you know to film a video or to do interviews like this or to just film videos that are educating their patients and so I recommend um, I don't do any filming I mean, once in a while, I'll short shoot quick videos on my iPhone, um, but I haven't used my nice HD camera in months because it just it's not the same when I film live on here. But it is live, so it's a bit different than filming and editing every little thing. Um, you can edit the before and the, in, the beginning and the end. Um, so, like in this next interview, I'm meeting with. Um, a company and we're filming for about an hour and then we're chopping up the video into 10 little videos. So we're filming straight through and then we're going to chop it up to make multiple pieces of content. So yeah, definitely educate them on, you know, learning about Google Hangouts and it's called live um, on air Hangouts. So Google okay. Hangout is just um, a phone call kind of like FaceTime mm -hmm. and then on air Hangouts is the one that's live that you can have like your own TV station, your own show live. And there's even a section of, if you go to your Google Plus page, if you have one, um, then, and if you have a YouTube, then it, you have to connect your Google Plus page to your YouTube. So that's a big reason why we have you use ours because it's already linked. We've already linked everything so that you can be on here because Google, they're making sure that you know, you are at good standings with with Google Plus, with YouTube that people haven't wrote like spam or wrote like this is inappropriate content. So they are looking for that. So you not just anyone can film a live hangout. You know, you have to like have different criteria and make sure you have no marks against you. <laughs> but you know, for most doctors, you know, they they don't haven't done videos and so this by doing a Google Hangout video like this they're able to get the videos to rank up really quickly um, so which is excellent so we'll see how yours how quickly yours ranks because I know that you've done videos and um, there's lots of content out on optics so um, okay. not promising that it's going to rank page one but um, it's you know it's always good to have new content and you can share this in your video section on your website or on social media I recommend that after it's complete um, just to put it out there because the more people that watch it and you know view it then that helps with rankings as well and Google showing the content uh, when someone does a search for um, optometrist in New York or Plain, plain View or Plain 
or so what is it? Plainville, Plainview, one of those places. <laughs> Where do you live? <laughs> All right. Yeah, so, cool. um, what was that? Sounds good. Yes. Okay. So all we've got left to do is um, do a quick training, and then we'll get your um, next appointment scheduled for us to do a strategy session. So I'm going to just go over a quick review over what we went over the other day, and uh, maybe that will give you some more ideas of what to talk about this afternoon for your interview. So that's that's excellent, man. You're just getting booked for all these interviews. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's fun. I think that's fun. I. I I love doing interviews and um, you know getting getting the word out there because you know especially with you know doctors they're focusing on what they do best which is taking care of their patients you know and learning about you know the new high tech stuff to do for you know eye equipment or you know the new stuff that's out but you know it's great that you're on the team and you have an MBA and you you take up the business side and so you're learning about okay what strategies are working in these other areas so we reviewed this the other day and you you told me that you'd go with you know service three or number one because there's reviews for you to read um, moving along game changer one just a review you want to be aware of what um, what's going on when you Google business name and city um, and so that you can make sure you have a great reputation there. Game changer number three is um, if you're not monitoring, you get a bad review, and you're focusing a whole lot heavily spending your marketing dollars on these areas, then you're going to be marketing your bad reputation, which that's just a waste of marketing dollars. You want to be marketing a great reputation. Okay, so anytime you're marketing, you want to focus on first build the five stars and get lots of reviews on all the sites, and you were right you know, five to ten. Um, I'm glad you guys talked about that this morning with your friend in um, Arizona. So that's absolutely right. Five to ten is what you want on each of the sites. And then take those reviews um, and repurpose them. Create them in videos or share the text or, you know, create an image for the image sharing sites and share those online so you can get more patients and have more people see those reviews. So why is reputation vital to a business? We already went over this. As consumers look up on average 10 reviews before making a decision, and 70% of consumers trust a business with a minimum of 6 to 10 reviews. So this comes over from Demand Force. I know lots of um, optometric practices they they use Demand Force. Demand Force is a you know great um, you know great for sending out the emails, and they they have a good system there. So they are a big huge company, and so we like to see the results from big companies. Then we can apply it. You know, to us that are, you know, smaller, more boutique companies. So without 10 five-star reviews, your business is not trusted. So we went over um, this with Yelp and how, you know, how, by just increasing a half a star rating online, it can increase business uh, by 19%. And then, um, so this is new. So reputation marketing, what is that? It's positioning yourself as the market leader in front of, you know, all the buyers that are doing a Google search and showing them that you have a five-star reputation. So um, it's taking those rep that five-star reputation and then also marketing that to get more patients. So how do you do that? So what we have is we have four areas that we focus on when it comes to reputation marketing. So the first area is building reputation. So you do that by getting reviews um, and then the next so reviews, and we do that in various different ways, um, through feedback pages, through asking after they fill out some feedback, you know, about the practice or even about our services, then we send them over to, um, if it's positive, a four or five star, we send them and say, hey, will you leave this online? So we direct them immediately online after they fill out that survey. Um, the next, after the reviews come in, now it's time to market those reviews. And so by marketing these reviews, this really helps with um, your sales because people are able to read those reviews before they come in and make that first appointment. They're already kind of sold before they make that first call. They already have read over on average 10. And um, if someone, you know, is having a tough time, you know, maybe, I know you shared about, you know, checking your eyes for if there's, I think you said heart disease or diabetes or stuff like that. If there's an additional, 
you know, test, maybe they're like, oh, I don't know if I want to get that. Well, go online, read about the reviews or, um, you know, stuff like that. You can always send people to check out the testimonials on your site or on your reviews, and that just helps with, with sales. So with marketing and reputation, um, we recommend that you put that on social media and on the picture sharing sites and on the video sharing sites like YouTube and um, and Meta Cafe, um, those types of sites. The next area is managing the reputation. So you got to be monitoring and engaging, engaging with the good reviews that come in and also engaging with the negative reviews that come in. And so whenever a negative review comes in, we recommend that you um, reply to it privately first and then respond to it publicly, definitely. So then other people that read those reviews, they're able to see those reviews and read uh, what what the doctor said in response to it or someone from the practice said. And then the final area, this is the most important one, which is creating a culture. And so this comes with educating and inspiring your staff. So your staff has got to be educated and inspired to implement this, which you do because you have them asking for reviews. Um, I, I believe it, wait, that was you, right? Who you asked for reviews two times a week? Yeah. Yes, yep. that was you. Okay. I had, I was like, wait a second. Did someone else tell me that? <laughs> I was trying to remember from yesterday. So, um, so yeah. So you ask, you know, for your staff to ask for two reviews per week, and so your staff is already inspired, and they're doing that. You know, you have that as a strategy, and you you have that as just you know part of their day to day activities is asking for those. And so when the staff is inspired and they're educated, they know what to do. Then it's so much easier to get the reviews, and then um, you know and then you would handle the marketing, all that. And then you just repeat this over and over and over. So um, so this is what we do. I know you said that you wanted to know, you know, what, um, you know, you want to learn more about what we do as a company. You're a part of the be this beta program, so we're taking care of the expenses for this interview and giving you this great interview. And this was our old beta program. We stopped doing this beta in May because we um, – you know, got all the research that we needed. You know, we, we figured out, okay, what works well, the easiest way to get people on Google Hangouts, and how to get people on here quickly. So, um, but since you were a referral, we decided to um, let you do the interview too. And so that's how you came in. But um, we have a new beta program that's going on right now. So the three people that you're going to refer to us, they will. Um, if they're a good fit, then we'll let them be a part of our new beta program, which is putting together a, um, a, a video that highlights one of their really great reviews online. So they don't have to get on camera, and um, it's a really professional video, and it has a 70% conversion, meaning that 70% of the people that watch the video, because of the script and the way the video is laid out, pick up the phone and give you a call. So um, that, that's a very high conversion, um, and so that's why we kind of switched from really focusing on these videos. A lot of doctors don't like to get on camera, and they were nervous to get on and, you know, be interviewed. But to do a, do a video where we highlight a review, they, um, they don't have to be on camera, so everyone likes that a whole lot better. And it has higher conversions. We're actually able to track it a lot easier because with this video, I mean, it's so different. The video is different, and um, it's much more challenging to track. You know the results of the video, right. and then compare it to all of our clients. And so now we have something that's much more comparable. So, um, so to do all of those different things that I just talked about, how much do you think it would cost if you're hiring someone to do all that reputation stuff per month? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how much. Closer to two thousand or ten thousand. What do you think? Uh, 500. I don't know how much. Well, if you hired someone, I'll help you out. So um, the U.S. Census Bureau says if you hire, you know, someone to focus on reputation or online marketing, it's on average about 68,000 per year. That's to hire someone in-house. So that's why, you know, most most practices that that would not work. That would be another full-time employee, and that doesn't work. And so um, you hire out focusing on specific areas. Now. We solely focus on reputation marketing, and so we used to do websites and SEO, and we used to do everything, and, you know, that's kind of 
that's a lesson that most business owners have to know, is you cannot help out everyone. You can't be everything to everyone. You have to ho focus in, hone in on what you're the best at and focus on that area and you know be the leader in that area. So that's what we did with reputation marketing. And so two years ago, or three years ago, that's when Ryan, the owner, was like, I'm just gonna focus on reputation marketing. This is what my clients want. And so um, that's all we do. So to do this, normally on average, it's about you know, um, you know, two thousand dollars to hire someone to do all these different things. So that's that's not um, what we charge for this at all. But I know that you're interested in learning more about you know. Oh, oh yeah, here it is. I didn't know I had the slide still in here. I thought I deleted this slide. There it is, thirty-eight to seventy-two. Right. I didn't know I had that. So I told you a little bit earlier that. Um, you know, we can do a strategy session for you. And so with this strategy session, um, it is going to take us about 24 hours to put it together. And so um, what we'll do is I'll have my team and myself do some research and we'll take a look and we will see, you know, what's going on with your reputation. And then we'll give you strategies step by step on what would make a really big difference in um, each of the areas that I find that, you know, would you help to build your build your reviews, which would in return lead to having more patients, more people coming to your practice, which would in turn lead to more sales for your business. So normally this is $9.97, but um, there's no cost to you because you're a part of this beta program. So we're going to pick up all the expenses. So what is a good day for you in the next couple of days? I know today is Wednesday. Oh, wait, today's Thursday. Oh, my goodness, Thursday. So may on, I don't know, Friday or Monday, I don't know what those look like for you, but I'm going to pull up my calendar. You can let me know what works good for you. Yeah. Um, so I'm actually traveling to... Oh, okay. Is it practices? Okay. Starting Monday. Um, okay. So it could be when I get back. Okay, that sounds good. And then the other thing about the strategy session is um, at at the end of it, I'll go over the investment for um, our packages and what services we have and what I think would make a big difference for you and where you're at. So um, at the end, I would definitely just love for you to just tell me, okay, you know, I'm going to take these. We're going to just start applying these strategies ourselves. Or two, I'm going to go hire someone else to do this. Or three, you know, let us know if you want us to do it, and then we can get you into production and get going doing this for you. Um, so at the end, we'll be going over all of that. And so if there's anyone else that, you know, makes decisions when it comes to marketing or where you're spending your marketing dollars, I would really love to have them on this call as well because we, I do want their questions to be answered. And um, you know, so that you guys can make a you know a decision on what you want to do moving forward. Sound good? Sure. So, is there someone else, or are you kind of head when it comes to where you spend your marketing dollars? Uh, so I would be the one on the call. Okay, great. So, so yeah, the both of you. So, what I can do is, since you probably don't have their um, schedule in front of you, or do you have their schedule? Could you choose a timer? I have my schedule, so okay. Thursday the 11th or Friday the 12th. Okay. Do did you like the same time on Thursday? Uh, Thursday I could do 11. Okay. Eastern. okay. Oh wait, 11 Eastern. That's right. Hello. <laughs> so 11 Eastern would be nine. Wait, 11. That'd be eight, right? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, eight o'clock. Let's see. I have a seven. It looks like I already have that spot booked on that day. Could you do? This is Pacific Standard Time. Could you do a little bit earlier, like ten thirty or? Um, do uh, ten thirty on the eleven. Okay, so great. So that's ten thirty. Like seven. Eight. Yep, that's right. So 7.30 my time, 10.30 your time. Okay, excellent. So I'll put that in there. I need to put in the right email address because um, this is going over to your other one. So it's Evan at Optics. What was um, the last part? Well, it's E-V-A-N. Oh, oh, my goodness. Sorry about that. 
at opticseyecare.com. Okay. And then this phone number um, that I had here, this is the correct phone number? Yep. Great, and then um, so I'll have all of your video be all edited. Probably edited a little bit before then, but um, definitely be edited for sure by then. I'll probably have it edited by Monday. Um, so I'm going to schedule this so you'll get a calendar invite for that. Just um, it will look like this. Just add it to whatever calendar you use. And um, who else was going to be on there? What was their name? Um, it's only me. Oh, just you. Oh, just kidding. Sorry, I thought you said someone else. Okay, great. So, um, excellent. So it's a great interview. I'll be getting that video edited, and um, I'll get that get that on over to you. And have fun traveling and visiting other practices. That'll be fun. Um, it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, no, not really. So that's for the um your other business, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, excellent. Well, maybe we'll be doing an interview here with Jay pretty soon. I know we were, um, we're we talked about it, then we didn't get scheduled. But it's just talk if it doesn't get on the calendar, right? My husband is going to be contacting him to just reconnect. And you have you have a conference coming up that you guys are going to, right? When next is that? Two weeks? We're not going to be there, but um, yeah, we're going to Vision Expo. Yeah. So, um. So then I look forward to talking to you on September 11th, and we will, uh, and if you need anything, shoot me an email. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, Evan. Thanks a lot. For your Bye. Help. Bye.